Hi there, folks. This is Kiva Community. That's my name today. I'm gonna be reacting to Horse The Gift of the Mod Pie and Horse Stranger Than Fan Fiction by Doodle Pony. This was my first time of doing it, so let's go and react to the first one The Gift of the Mod Pie. Here we go. And three, two, one, play. Horse. Okay. Business trip for me. I need to scout. Hey, turn that frown upside down. Actually, don't. Don't do that. Oh, <laughs> that is horrifying, actually. The of the greatest city in all of the Objection. It appears <laughs> that there is a conspiracy going on here, because if you compare this statue to the statue of the past, you can see that the arm is in a different place, the book is in a different place, and the face is just a completely different face. And this is clearly the work of, of the Illuminati, <laughs> or maybe a pony David Copperfield, or perhaps the <laughs> communists oh, again. Yeah. Perhaps the communists are back. As you can Co-written by Michael P. Fox, and specifying the middle initial here to differentiate himself from Michael J. Fox. I mean, after all, we've already had plenty of Back to the Future on this channel already, and we really don't need any more, I can tell. Boulder promised his cousin a postcard. <laughs> I think Maud might have a problem, but uh, let's go see what that problem is on the most reliable site for medical advice there is, WebMD. And just ignore the non-pony uh, model uh, here, it's just for, you know, translation purposes. Alright, yeah, th these uh, symptoms look about right to me, let's see. Ah, <laughs> this makes perfect sense. <laughs> Mad cow disease, uh, and... <laughs> narcotic abuse. <laughs> Yo, yes, that's exactly yeah. what's going on here. Oh, hey, it's 4chan again. Nothing moved him. You know, I wonder if Pinky is laying down the red paint behind them as they go, like she did in Daring Don't. But this simply won't do. Fun fact! Squishing <laughs> unicorns causes their voices to pitch up, apparently. Oh, yeah. Man, I feel really bad for this guy. He didn't want dressing on his salad, but he got it anyway, and you, and you really can't take that stuff off, so it's like, do you demand getting it again without the dressing, or do you soak it up and eat something you don't like? The deep and complex morals of the show are simply off the handle! <laughs> what? what? What is that? Is that a pepper shaker or a baby bottle? Or, uh, oh. Oh, it's the crayon. Also, Pinky's wonky physics applies to objects she comes into contact with, judging by the chunk of oh door my just God, covering really? there in midair. It was a dark and stormy night. Wow, that is a cliche opening. Pinky is one unfortunate bounce away from property damage. <laughs> now that's subtle. That's subtlety, and, 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 and yeah. Any chance you could see yourself with it? Only if I had a mirror. If it catches your eye? Boulder says they're all too... stuck up. Mod Pie is secretly yeah. Johnny 2x4 confirmed. Why? Hey look, it's the Flim Flam Brothers' step-headed cousin. <laughs> 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 I'd be more than happy to give you the pouch for the low, low price of... ...a million dollars. It's like Rarity's going what? for one of those, uh, Stanley Kubrick shots. Just make, making that guy, making that guy proud. There's no problem. It just turns out that the going rate for a rock pouch in Manhattan is one party cannon. Who knew? They gave me a small loan of a million dollars. Hey. <laughs> When did Rarity get so bad at lying? She proves to be an expert <laughs> actor elsewhere in the episode. I mean, I, I don't ha really have a joke for this. I'm just legitimately confused. I really should go wash them. Where's her cannon? She ain't a unicorn. I'd like to return this pouch. Cannon, please. It's sponsored by Star Swirl the Bearded, apparently. He's like some sort of strong magic horse or something, I don't know. Pinky, gift giving isn't a competition. It's an expression of love. And you always make sure to give your gifts with- Oh my god, this is a really heartfelt moment that really, really tugs at my- Five ever. Five ever. Five ever. Five ever. <laughs> 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 All right, so the next one should be Stranger Than Fan Fiction by Doodle Pony. Yeah.
Here we go again. Now I'm on full screen. Let's go and play the video. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hey, elephant in the room. What's up? Oh, deep, boop, deep, deep, deep. oh yeah. The <laughs> fact that none of the Daring Do fans recognize Rainbow Dash even though she's on the cover of a Daring Do book? Yep, that sure is a thing. But then again, maybe that's a one of a kind cover drawn by Daring Do herself. I mean, hey, maybe she's got photorealistic drawing in her endless <laughs> list of abilities. Fun fact Stone bridges come with invisible perforated edges. Well Rainbow Dash, what did you do to Twily? Uh, did you spike her book? An entire convention dedicated to one intellectual property? Yeah, like that ever happened. Is it just me, or does this button look like it's floating around in front of his shirt? <laughs> Beginning on page 84 of Sapphire Stone! For a second, I thought he said Sapphire Shores, and I imagined <laughs> there a dude getting into a shootout with him. <laughs> Ruh row, someone stole Fluttershy's anime what? stash. <laughs> oh boy, a super duper daring dude deluxe <laughs> body, bo body bondage body pillow. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> I know you guys want to be authentic, but that is that is disconcertingly on the nose. Save me from the <laughs> dark! Okay, I actually went to a convention recently, and this is an accurate depiction of the staff at local businesses. I I'm not saying those books don't exist, I'm saying that I refuse to acknowledge them. Jar Jar Binks is a lie! Kylo Ren caused the Cuban Missile Crisis! I have no idea what's happening to these carrots. She's bored, some drama happens, and then she's happy about it. Sadism confirmed! <laughs> Keemstar confirmed! Keemstar confirmed! <gasps> The amulet of Coolicon. The amulet of what? The amulet of Coolicon. Coolio? The amulet of Coolio? Uh, taken by Cheese Sandwich to make a great parody song? <laughs> that that amulet of Coolio? <laughs> the animators really love this body pillow gag. <laughs> I just noticed the convention bracelets. Nice touch. Oh wow, they actually painted their body to match? I mean, who would actually do that? Oh, oh. 60 story drop from the top of a waterfall. Uh, who let the analyst into the convention? Uh, <laughs> of course he is. He's also over there, over th in my <laughs> Of the 10 best cosplay. Too much crazy out here for the both of us. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Where did these guys come from? So you came up with this overcomplicated plot to lure her into the jungle and exchange it for us. I wouldn't call it overcomplicated. Yeah, it's literally just a lure. They do this in fishing for Pete's sake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Hilarious joke. <laughs> Let Darren do rescue these two. <laughs> All four? I mean, shouldn't at least one of them stay behind to guard us? Hey, it's in pre-alpha. Don't judge too harshly. They're still ironing out the henchman AI. Okay, that was pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Maybe if I just leave you in the jungle, it'll convince you. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and that is everything that's wrong with Daring Do. Everything that's wrong with Daring Do. Uh-oh, little shy. I think uh, they're calling you out. Yes. <laughs> Thing. This is all just a pretend adventure. At least we know all of this. This is a butt shot for the ages. It'll be framed in museums. People will crowd around and go, oh, this is bad. <laughs> what are these poems thinking? Right now? We are thinking that we should thank you. You were just waiting in those bushes for a moment to be clever, weren't you, Cabalab? Cab 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 Steve Caballero. You're real. You're, you're, you're friends with her? Yeah, I don't get it either. Seven doors, seven locks. Seven ponies, new game for Spike <laughs> Has an alicorn on it. It's the- Man, it feels good to be a gangster solving really easy <laughs> puzzles. I am the one- The seven-sided chest of Chico Mostock. Seven sides? That's really <laughs> impressive. I mean, drawing heptagons is really hard, man, so building yeah, that yeah, thing must have been tough. <laughs> Side character. I don't want to kind of name it right now. Is this a bit like ad libbed? I mean, we getting a little, getting a little who's line in here, getting a little bit of Rick and Morty in here, getting a little bit of Colin Murphy and making out. But yeah, welcome back to season six, where wit levels are at max capacity. I really like this episode. <laughs> All right, I guess that's the end of the video. You can check out the video. Shall I link it in the description? This is season six. So goodbye.